Whoa, didn't see you there. I was working on my off-page SEO, getting them links, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding. Today, if you don't know what off-page SEO is, you're about to learn. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, this is Adrian Boysell and welcome back to another training video. So grateful that you guys are here with me. What I ask is that you could please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If this is your first video you're watching, please say hi, say introduce yourself, I wanna to get to know you. But today's video is about off-page SEO and I'm gonna share with you guys how you can implement this into your business to help increase your traffic coming to your website from organic traffic. And organic traffic, we talked about in other videos of what the different pillars are of SEO. You got the videos, you got images, you got uh, Google My Business, and you got your organic traffic. That's what this is going to be specifically about. I'm gonna talk a little bit about GMB, but specifically, I wanna help you understand what backlinking is, linking to your website. As you may know, Google rates websites based on EAT, expertise, authority, and trust. And part of that trust is actually getting links from other reputable websites. There's something called trust flow and citation flow. And that trust flow comes from sites that have high trust flow, like Facebook and CNN and TechCrunch and Disrupt. Websites that are reputable, that are well known, they get millions and millions of visits. If you can get links from them back to your website, meaning if you can get a page on their website that links back to you, to your website URL, or you can get a guest post, or you can even just get a keyword link on a page of their website, it's gonna dramatically improve the authority of your website. And that's what you want. You want your website to be seen as an authority, as an expert, and as a trustworthy resource for information. And when they see other big names talking about it, it's like if you're hanging out with a group of five millionaires and you were the sixth, and somebody, one of your friends from high school comes up and sees you, they're gonna believe that you're one of the millionaires as well, just because you're associated with it. So it's really important that you understand that perspective of backlinking. There are dozens of ways that you can get backlinks. You can get backlinks through friends who also have websites and you can link to them and they can link to you. You wanna make sure that you try to keep it within the same industry or, or at least close industries. There are tons of link buying websites that you can go to and buy links from. That is considered a gray hat area. The fact that you're buying links, Google doesn't necessarily like that. But if you're gonna go purchase a link, you can do that through websites like One Click Influence, which is a great website to buy pre-existing domain names that have authority and have blog articles and all of those really great things that you need to build your trust and authority. And then there's other ways, other ways you can do it. You can actually reach out to site owners of blogs and different news websites and article websites and content creators, and you can reach out to them. You can email them and you can ask them for a guest post or you can ask them how much it costs to buy a link. This is what we call in the industry link outreach. You wanna start doing link outreach. It's an important part of ranking your site and getting that authority and that trust to increase over time. The goal for me and really the goal for you at the end of the day is to increase your domain authority and your page authority. Your domain authority is the authority of your actual .com, the overall authority of what your URL has. So if you have 100 links that are pointing back from CNN or Fox or any of these big reputable websites and it's pointing back to you, you're gonna have a really good domain authority from that. And then if you send those to specific pages, those individual pages will have what's called a page authority. So you wanna make sure that you are aware of what those two are, and that you're also aware of what trust flow is and citation flow. Now citation flow is something that I see a lot of marketers neglect. Citations are basically mentions online. Citations can be directory citations, they can be Google My Business citations. There's all different types of citations that you can do for your website. You can find providers all over the internet, Upwork, Freelancer, Fiverr, and find citations, but you do not wanna discount this and cut this corner. This will help you rank your website very quickly. I know people who have ranked on the first page of Google by only doing citations. They didn't buy a single backlink and by just doing 600, 800, 1,000, or even 2,000 citations, they were able to get their local listing, their, their Google listing organically ranked to the first page. That's huge. The amount of traffic that they got from that just from buying citations was absolutely game changing. Now the last piece that I want you to know is your Google My Business. Google My Business, I've talked about this in other videos, has so much traffic coming to it of people looking at you on the Google Maps, you wanna be ranked there in the top. 
And the way you do that is by uploading images that have EXIF data in it. Well, I'm gonna make a video just on EXIF data for you here in the future, but EXIF data is gonna allow you to rank and actually tag a geographical area. So you can start uploading photos in different areas to make sure that you can cover your whole geographical radius of the service areas that you cover. This is really, really important. And then on top of that with your Google My Business, you're gonna make sure that you fill out all the descriptions, all the services, everything you do with the right keywords, and you're gonna optimize your Google My Business profile and link back to specific pages of your website. This is gonna help you rank a lot better. It's gonna help you get a lot more traffic. Your off-page SEO is absolutely essential. This is the area where a lot of marketers focus on, but they cut corners here. So you wanna make sure you don't cut any corners, that you do your local listings, that you do your citations, that you do your directory submission, that you do your link building. You can network with people all over the internet. And you gotta remember, you have to pay to play even in organic. Where paid advertising is gonna get you that instant result like you're hunting, farming with SEO is gonna take you longer, but it isn't free. You're gonna to have to put money into your SEO because it's gonna pay you huge dividends over the long term. So that's what I had for you in a nutshell today on off-page SEO. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.